most of the episodes are like the episodes we used to do in Justice League that were more lighthearted, or even the Batman episodes we used to do in Batman Beyond, where you know we had a few episodes in those that were generally going the same way as this. Um, I don't see that much difference except for the pacing that we have to do on these shows is a lot faster and it doesn't give you time to think, you know. We get into the stories, into the thick of it early on. Sometimes it just starts off with a battle going on and then we figure out ways to inform the viewer how this came about and what the stakes are. And uh, so, that, I mean, that uh, we're very cognizant of the fact that we have an action show. It's in the title. We also have a lot of comedy. Superman? Wonder Woman? Batman? Am I in trouble? I can fix that. Yeah, I'm just gonna need some duct tape. Or I don't need like a lot of duct tape. We started off trying to do a pretty pure action show. I mean, we have. It would have some jokes, of course. And then as we got into it, we found that the, the action played better with some co uh, more comedy. And so it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an action comedy show where the action is serious, where the, 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 the goals uh, are important and the fight, is, uh, the fight is something that has to be engaged in. These men are your friends? More like sidekicks, mother. Batman get to share in some of that humor? Yes. Oh yes, oh yes, because he's so heavy, he's so dark, that if anything is ridiculous going on around him, all he has to do is raise his eyebrow and the audience is going to burst out laughing. So there's a little bit of, it's just like a little attitude adjustment, uh, which I loved playing. Um, and the, I know the other actors did too. And we did a screening today for a, an audience and they all reacted really positively to it. So. I think the audience is going to really love it. In any given time, we don't have a core seven like we used to, so it could it could be the Batman teamed up with Zatanna, uh, Swamp Thing, or you know it's odd odd pairings here or there. Firestorm could be hooked up with uh, Star Girl or uh, Blue Beetle and things like that. But and Superman's in the fold. Things like there's an older character with them. Things like that. The interesting pairing that I've had so far is with um, Booster Gold, with Dietrich Bader, because interestingly, as an actor, Dietrich is actually a lot like Mark Hamill in terms of his imagination. Um, he's so imaginative. He's got such a fertile mind, and his character goes all over the place, the way the Joker does. Go Superman! The Joker does it all to go to an evil place. Booster does it all to go to a good place. You know, so they're, they're different characters. But the actor process is very much the same. And I've been developing the kind of friendship with Dietrich that I did with Mark uh, through the years on, uh, on, uh, with the Joker. So that's been a great pairing. We sit around and figure out, okay, let's, what's the outline? And we look at outlines that were pitched, and then it's based on okay, can I do that story? Is it going to work with these characters? And then based on me and Jim and Jay Bastian and Alan talking over, we come up with this some here or there jokes that we could throw in. Or, and it's also based on who you're going to get to do that role. And if it's a guy that loves to improvise, we'll even wait till recording. We'll put some, some lines in, but he can play with them as he wishes. Miss me. Approaching the character is always the same. It has to be because the audience is so familiar with him. If you're not authentic, they'll hear it in a second. Um, so I always have to be very true to the character. So approaching the character is always the same. Unfortunately, when there's a team of seven people, I just get much less to do. <laughs> you know, when it's a Batman the Animated Series, it's my show! You know, I get to do everything. Um, so when you only have a few lines in an episode, maybe, to to reveal the character, um, you have much, just much less time to do it. So, um, but the way you approach the character is always, the, always the same because it's got to be the same guy. You have a long and glorious history in animation. What's something you're doing with this show that you haven't done before in your career? Well, you know, at Super Friends, I uh, did in uh, 83, 80, 45, and it never was the show I wanted to do because I was always. We tried, and we did some good stuff, but it was never. But it was always directed to two-year-olds, two to eleven-year-olds. That was our 
our age goal and you know both ends of that age they're completely different viewers but this one I got young boys and it's a new world where people really uh, are used to actually I mean I couldn't have any punches when I was in you know in 1980 83 and now I could have some pretty good battles you know not gruesome but good you know not, you know fun so um, so that was the that was it's interesting because I feel like I've come back home, and this is the home I wanted to be in in the first place. <laughs> so uh, I'm very happy with the show. Batman and Booster Gold, I'm in. Justice League action debuts on the Cartoon Network in the fall. For Blaster.com, I'm Mike Avila. When you listen to the script, even with the involvement,